in their technical support for the project and all of the other important, important historic preservation through the, throughout the Commonwealth, and I appreciate their efforts. The, uh, in closing, I, I would certainly like to thank you all again for coming. Uh, I, will believe, I, I believe you will agree tonight after you view and walk through, and Mark alluded to the wonderful building behind us, that the, uh, this, the Commander's Mansion is the town's newest crown jewel that will be treasured and enjoyed by all the me members of the communities for years to come. Thank you again. I just want to say a couple of words. I'm Brian O'Neill of O'Neill Properties. And uh, first thing I want to do is I want to add to uh, Mike's statement when he chartered uh, the WADC to not put any undue financial burden on the town. There was a second part of that. Make sure you put all the undue financial burden on O'Neill, which they did an excellent job of. The second thing I, I want to say is that in our office, there's a person that can get anything done. So there, I want to thank Tara for the weather because she ordered it up today and, uh, and we got great weather. Let's give her a round of applause because there's nothing Tara can't do. Uh, on, on a further serious note, I'd like to thank my staff who have worked hard and, and as of today we're about 80 percent leased here. We committed to bring you a world headquarters and we're pleased to tell you that Arthur D. Little has officially signed their lease. It is encased in stone. We've acquired their site and they will be moving thousands of people over here, which is a great thing. Lastly, I want to thank all the people of Watertown, uh, from the folks that came down from their home the night that we were awarded the project, to give John a hard time, I really appreciate that, uh, to the WADC and the council for having the faith in us to uh, award us the project. Uh, we have enjoyed every minute of it, and uh, we're, we're honored to turn the mansion over to you today, and we hope you use it in good health. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, the council president just wanted to say a couple more words. You forgot? Uh, no, you don't. All right. Okay. Well, actually, just one. Will don't. Go ahead. Uh, actually, uh, I did mention it, and I had uh, been remiss in not uh, identifying the number of school committee people that was in attendance as well, and I'll try to see them as I'm going along. Uh, we have David Downs uh, immediately in front of me. I, Eileen Balzer, I don't know if she had to leave. She had to rush her husband out to the airport, uh, but she was here earlier. And who else did I see from? Steve, oh, Steve Messina. Messina uh, is here also from the school committee. So I wanted to at least acknowledge the presence of those people. And, and before we bring on our last speaker, the gentleman to my far right, I, I certainly would like to echo uh, Brian's comment about Tara's uh, efforts and, and certainly trying to speak as quickly as possible because uh, Brian does need to go to another event uh, somewhere in Boston tonight uh, under the lights to call Fenway Park. But that being said, I, one, one group that I didn't mention is probably the most important group uh, to me personally, and it's to all the employees of the community, uh, the boards and commissions, uh, a lot of the building, the, the building inspector, John DeTomer, is here, the police chief, John Jackson, the fire chief, uh, Chief McCaffrey, and all of their staffs. Uh, but a special word for uh, two people. One, uh, Ingrid Makazi, I, I hope I missed that name, but... Uh, who... Who... Put, for all of her efforts and also for put good use to the town's newest uh, color printer who did all of those color invitations in-house and uh, uh, to Ingrid I appreciate it and finally to the immediate, immediate right Mark Boyle who throughout for the town of Watertown Without his day-to-day -day presence, this wouldn't have happened as far as getting it done and getting it done in an effective manner. I know that John is going to want to say some, uh, some uh, words about everyone's efforts, but Mark Boyle truly is uh, a servant for the community. He makes Watertown for the citizens and uh, the quality of life for all of our citizens 
a, a wonderful place for all the residents. The businesses, the chamber members are here. We've got our executive director, Clint Knight, here, as well as several members, prominent members of the chamber, including uh, Ron Dean, the president of Watertown Savings Bank. So on behalf of the town of Watertown, I, I do want to thank Mark Boyle and close on that. So thank you very much. Um, at this time, before John is going to conclude our remarks, but I just want to take an opportunity to recognize and thank the um, design and construction team for this uh, wonderful project. McGinley Hart Associates w uh, was the architectural firm. Uh, Paul McGinley is here. Wendell Kelso is here, and uh, Coralie, Coralie Brink. And they were one, you know, the finest architectural firm that I've worked with. David J. from Weimar Associates is a landscape architect. So it was a wonderful design team to work with. Now, uh, that's all fine, but it n does take somebody to actually build it. And I want to uh, specifically recognize Webster Construction. Again, they were one of the finest construction firms that I've ever worked with. And I've worked with many, as you know. But uh, Mario Crusoe is here, the president. Um, and, and, the, and the two gentlemen, the two gentlemen that were here on a daily basis this weekend, actually till 11 and 12 o'clock at night, spit shining it, making sure it was uh, all set for this evening's festivities. Ken Lynch and Rick Hart. Um, at this time, I'd like to um, introduce John Arasian, who's the chairman of the Watertown Arsenal Development Corporation. John. Thank you. Mm. Mm. I, I won't be long, and I didn't prepare, but I just want to say that, you know, this is the end of a long road for us, uh, and this is a great day for Watertown. Uh, this building has a lot of history that's happened here, and hopefully in, in the next 100 or 200 years, a lot of Watertown children will get married here. A lot of good times will be had here. This is a beautiful addition, and this will make life better in Watertown. And, you know, I just want to thank my committee. Mark already uh, mentioned who they are. And I want to thank Mike Driscoll and the town council for working with us over the last 10 years. But I, but I want to say especially that this all wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Mark Boyle. Mark Boyle has worked this project for 10 years. And we worked hand in hand. And you can't imagine, this is his baby here. And he's done a wonderful job. And he's been here daily. And, 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 what, and what he's accomplished with this whole development with, uh, and, and a lot of other things going on in town is just unbelievable. But sometimes we get the credit and the committee get the credit. And, and the, uh, but it's really the staff who does the work. This thing is so far coming beyond our wildest dreams. You know, Brian O'Neill is bringing us wonderful tenants. I mean, they were mentioned earlier. We couldn't possibly get any better tenants than we have. We got this beautiful building. We're going to have jobs. We're going to have taxes. It's, you know, revitalization. And it's just another step forward for Watertown. So everybody have a good time. I think um, that concludes the uh, remarks, and I'd like to ask um, the gentleman here to um, cut the ribbon. Okay. Well, I think uh, should we be behind? Or you guys want to be behind? Or I think it's right. Uh, you want to get behind? Yeah, we'll get behind.